Jackson sisters have been phenomenal for the Lady Blazers. 17 points combined between the two sisters, and UAB has gotten State into serious foul trouble. UAB shooting 61% here in the first half. A rare miss, and now Mississippi State can cut this lead down before halftime. Mississippi State superstar Latoya Thomas, the talented freshman, is on the bench with three fouls. And the talented sophomore, Frambro, on the bench as well with three. Overstreet again, missed it. Rebound, Lisa Jackson. Lisa Jackson, Deanna Jackson, sisters. Good pass, nice pass. And missing the layup. Wow. Holland will shoot for three. Got it! You know, Holly Holland has the strangest form. It comes out kind of like a knuckleball, but hey, don't change a thing, Holly, because she is on fire 31% on the season, but right now two of four in this ballgame. She has eight points, just over two minutes to go. And it's an eight-point Lady Blazer lead. Overstreet, number 14, has given Mississippi State a boost since she's come in. She's made as many as eight threes in a game. That was a horrible shot. Yeah, she's trying a little bit too hard. I think she feels the pressure coming in in place of Thomas and Frambro. Holly Holland. She has ten now. And it's 35-26. Make that 36-26. Underneath, getting it. Cynthia Hall with penetration. Hall has five. And where's the defense on the penetration? You have to stay in front of the ball. Watch out for the quick step. Both of these teams, very quick penetrators. Underneath. Nelson, nice pass, shot missed. Up again, no, but a foul. Good work in there, Monique Nelson and Michelle Smith. A reminder coming up at halftime, Iowa State gets a scare. UConn rolling, saw that in our earlier game, and Rutgers, very, very impressive today. That's coming up at halftime. At the free throw line now, Michelle Smith. Free throw are horrible this year, just 40%. But already two for two tonight, and I think that's important. UAB doing a nice job getting to the line so far in this game. There's a good look at the freshman. Played very well earlier in the year, then may have hit the wall in her last six games. Been struggling, at least scoring-wise. Having a good first half tonight, so maybe she's out of it. Makes one of two. Mississippi State trailing by nine with a minute left to play first half. Great penetration. And Michelle Smith rebound. Blazer Stallings. Jumper. Got it. You know, you could tell watching Holly Holland in warm-ups and in the first minutes of this game, she feels that as a senior, she has put the responsibility on her shoulders. You can see it in her eyes. Holland has 12, the biggest lead of the first half, 39-28. The Blazer defense tightening. Holland tightroping. She's out of bounds. Holland gets the great bounce pass once again from Stallings. Holling five of seven from the field, the senior is truly taking it upon herself to get it done. Holly Holland, actually, when she blew out her knee two years ago, was an analyst for their radio station, wants to do this when she grows up. Better be on your game. Three-pointer off the heel, Holland. Chance for one more Blazer run. Do they work for one? Holland off the hand. And let's see if they saw it. Yes, good call by the officials, a tip, 15.9. And the UAB Blazers looking very, very impressive here in the first half. Lakia Westerfield is in for Mississippi State. Rhodes off the front of the iron. That's a bad play there by UAB. Don't you work for the last shot, Heather? Oh, you have to, and what a momentum boost to go up with 41 heading into the break. Both teams out of foul, so we'll shoot some free throws here. 
do have to give UAB a lot of credit, really taking advantage of the fact that both Thomas and Frambo, who are responsible for about 35 points per game for State, have been on the bench, and UAB has been attacking hard inside and running the floor. Foul was on Graham, her first. At the line is Cynthia Hall, 65% on the year. No good. So she misses the front end. Mississippi State hustles up the rebound. Five seconds to go. Harris down the lane, missed it. And that's the end of the first half. After 20 minutes, the UAB Lady Blazers leading the favorite Mississippi State Lady Bulldogs, 39-28. Stand by for Robin Roberts, Jay Billis, and Vera Jones with scores, highlights, and analysis from all of the day's action coming up next. ESPN 2's coverage of the women's NCAA tournament is brought to you by Monistat, who brings you tonight's halftime report. Again, the surprising Lady Blazers, they're saying, you know what, we're in Eugene, we don't mind if we want to go on out to Portland with the regional, but I think Mississippi State has a statement to make about that before it's all said and done. Doesn't help having LaToya Thomas on the bench with three fouls. Doesn't help at all, but Mississippi State may be suffering from the same problem that LSU had earlier, and I call that SEC amnesia. They'll go in the locker room and to remember, we are the SEC, aren't we? we the best conference out here and they're going to turn things around and you can be definitely count on that but on the other end you got to remember that conference usa teams are playing outstanding basketball this year and uab having played georgia auburn and tulane and marquette as a matter of fact have had a pretty tough schedule to play so they are used to playing some of these better teams yeah i'm not too sure this should be a surprise uab played georgia to a one-point game earlier in the season and the southeastern conference has played no one outside of conference usa conference usa has taken on the sec more often than any other conference so uab taking advantage of this tough schedule they're playing tough in the ncaa tournament where they need to yes they are you know and they knocked off marquette in their conference tournament so they're a team one of those teams you know they get deep into their conference tournament playing with a lot of confidence right now and again they have an 11 point lead over mississippi state out of the sec but how about the big east connect five so it's on to the round of 16 who will join them there uab trying to get to the uab to the round of 16 for the first time in school history ESPN 2's coverage of the women's NCAA tournament is brought to you by Monistat, who brings you tonight's halftime report. Someone get my agent on the phone. A 1 a.m. highlight special coming your way on ESPN 2. Jay, Vera, and I will be with you to show you all the highlights and scores from this round of 16 trying to get there. UAB trying to get there for the first time in school history. And so is Mississippi State. LaToya Thomas playing with three fouls. Second half straight ahead. ESPN 2's coverage of the women's NCAA tournament is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz, located on the web at mbusa.com. At halftime, 39-28, UAB leading Mississippi State. UAB outscoring Mississippi State 16-7 in the last five and a half minutes. The first half stats... That says it all, Heather. Shooting percentage is 57% for UAB. And Mississippi State, normally a team that's a very good defensive team, holding their opponents to 39% from the field. UAB taking very smart shot, also getting point production in the paint, 16 to 12. That's a product of both Thomas and Fambro combining for just 19 first half minutes. Second half keys, LaToya Thomas has three fouls. Her running mate up front, Jennifer Fambro, has three fouls. Can they stay in the game as you look at the scoring leader? And I think that is the key in this game. Can Thomas have some pro really produce in this second half? Look for UAB to drop into a 2-3 zone with Thomas in the floor because they couldn't stop her 12 points in 15 minutes in the first half. Fambro, the second leading scorer for the Lady Bulldogs, had zip. Just four minutes, very quick foul trouble for Fambro. UAB with an 11-point lead. That's as big an advantage as they have had. Thrash into the lane. Lost it. Turnover. Here comes LaToya Thomas, the Freshville freshman from Greenville, Mississippi. Fambro missed it. Got it back. Good hustle. Out of bounds. Let's we'll see who they give it to. Green ball. 
You know, if you're UAB, I bet the coaching staff wish that there wasn't any intermission at all. It'll be very important for this team to focus and concentrate and keep the momentum going that they established in the first half. Already two quick turnovers by the Lady Blazers. See a lot more energy out of Mississippi State. You have to think that Sharon Fanning, the Mississippi State coach, uh, drilled it at halftime. I think I'd say that's a safe bet. They came out with a little bit of extra time on the clock and went through, through some three-on-three -three drills during the intermission. Jackson, nice pass. Smith got it. Michelle Smith, and I think she's been a big difference inside. She has 10. She has been huge, four of six from the field and just playing with a big presence inside for a freshman. 41-28. That's the biggest lead the Lady Blazers have had all night, 13 points. In the lane, shot slipped out of her hand. And UAB has been such a strong rebounding team all season, and it's showing tonight. Great box out. Turnover, third turnover of the second half, the seventh in the game. So Mississippi State trying to get on track. And we've got a foul away from the ball. Go back to a nice dish a moment ago. Yeah, Lisa Jackson coming off an eight assist night against the Ducks on Friday. Finds the open player. Nice job drawing the double team and having the vision to see Michelle Smith wide open. See the percentage is UAB shooting much higher than they normally do. The foul was called on Lisa Jackson. That's two on her, so she has to be careful now. And you saw that State's normally a 47% shooting team. That's 15th in the nation. Their offense has been non-existent tonight. Sharon Fanning's offense really revolves around movement, ball reversal, and penetration. We've seen the penetration, but we haven't seen any outside threat. No shooting outside, so you would be clogging things up on the inside. Hall launches a three. It's off the mark. And we're going to have a pushing foul, and it might be on Fambro. She was right in the middle of the pack. Let's see. If it's on Fambro, it's four. It is. So that is bad news for head coach Sharon Fanning and the Lady Bulldogs. They have to take her out. And they will. So she's going to be replaced by Keisha Stringfellow, a freshman from Clinton, Mississippi. There it is. 35 White comes in on just the hustle plane. And that's something that you need to be smarter about. You need to think that through and stay on the floor for your team. Holland had some good moments in the first half, shooting the ball well. Smith out to Jackson, swing it to Holland. Got to get up on her. Interestingly, shadowing her now is LaToya Thomas, who has to stay out of her fourth foul. Jackson, tough shot, missed it. And we're going to have a bumping foul. That should go against Michelle Smith over the back. Ambro obviously frustrated a year ago as a freshman led this team with 17 points per game hasn't had any production tonight because of that foul trouble she needs to get about 10 or 15 in this game for state to have a chance 41 38 the team in green you think the Oregon fans are re rooting for the team in oh, green? Oh, definitely you always want the team that beat you to do well Along the baseline, nice move. Boy, I tell you what, Mississippi State shooting horribly. They need to get the ball inside, pound it inside to Thomas. And Smith is down, shaking up on the play. So they'll look at freshman Michelle Smith. And Sharon Fanning will talk to her team during the timeout. This could be a big blow to UAB. Couldn't quite see what happened. She looks like they're attending to her face. And head coach Jeannie Milling is going to come out to, to see. It's 44 green. Yeah, it looks like she got caught with an elbow down on the bridge of the nose. You know, this is the second person that's taken an elbow for UAB. Holly Holland got an elbow from her own teammate. Deanna Jackson on Friday has a big shiner because of it, we're hoping. For Smith's sake, that it's nothing too serious and she can come back into the game. UAB would not be where they are without the performance of Michelle Smith this year. Smith is up. I believe they'll take her out of the game right now while they attend to her. And we'll see if she can continue. You look at what she's done so far 10 points. 
four of six. She's been a presence inside. Yeah, the Conference USA Freshman of the Year has been playing like it tonight. Has just been a great presence, especially on the board. She's been keeping State from any second chance opportunities, and her defense is a, is a big reason why State's shooting so poorly. Shaquetta Rhodes is in to replace her. 41-28. Three minutes gone here in the second half. Favored Mississippi State trying to get on track. Hall with a three, no. Jackson lost it. And a three-point opportunity coming up. LaToya Thomas scrambling for the rebound. She gets the deuce and she'll go to the line. And what a great battle between the two young stars of this game. Thomas up one-on-one -on -one against Jackson. Jackson has a chance to get the board. It's all hers, but she doesn't go at it hard with both hands and get her elbows out. She needs to stick a fork in it and keep Thomas from getting a handle. Second foul on Deanna Jackson. Trying to complete the three-point play is LaToya Thomas. She doesn't, but the offensive rebound. Perry, no, and a foul. So Mississippi State going to the boards now and going hard with Michelle Smith out of there. They figure they have the advantage. Well, and I think that's so important because State has been out-rebounded 17 times this season, and I think it's because of their size and also their footwork. This is a young team, especially inside. Second foul on Shaquetta Rhodes. Mia Thrash is back in. The lead is 11. And now dropping into a 2-3 zone is UAB. And getting the roll is Angela Harris. And suddenly, here come the Lady Bulldogs. Harris with four, lead cut to nine. Great recognition that time by the senior Harris, seeing that UAB was in a 2-3 zone and just finding the gap with the little 14-foot pull-up. Jackson being guarded now by Mitra Perry. A different matchup than the first half. Jackson choked off, Rhodes, high low. Jackson, and she has mugged underneath. Double team that time. Harris was there. Perry was there. Good position by Jackson, pushing her defender off her hip and high into the paint. She's working hard against two defenders. UAB needs to create a little bit more space so Jackson can go one-on-one -on -one and create position for that lob. First foul called on Perry. Jackson going to the glass, missed it. And Mississippi State got a person ahead. Thomas can't save. Thomas is fast, but not that fast. When we may have an injury, and it's not Thomas, it's the person that she took out. An innocent bystander underneath the hoop took it big. That is the Mississippi State cheerleader, yell leader section. There's a little seating area over there, and they're going to attend to someone who went down as Thomas chased the ball out of bounds. Wow. Person was actually sitting on that chair that you saw. Watch the hustle. Tons of hustle points here. Yeah. And a ball girl. Ooh. Let's hope she's okay. They'll work on her. Play continues. Just under 16 and a half minutes to play in the game. The UAB Lady Blazers who upset Oregon on Friday night. Knocked off the sixth seed. Now they're trying to do in the number three seed. Jackson. Picked up nicely. Choked off. Here goes her sister. And she gets it. And that's exactly what Oregon couldn't defend on Friday. They couldn't stop the penetration. Jackson picking up her 10th point. I think almost all of those points have come off of the dribble rather than with her back to the basket. The reason she's valuable is she can create shots. She's not just a stand-up shooter. And she really takes advantage of whatever the opponent gives her. UAB by 11. Three-pointer on the way. In and out. Flash with the rebound. So Perry's three-pointer rolled around and came out. Blazers living large at the moment, getting all the breaks. And really being patient on offense. Ball went right through Jackson, and Perry hustles it up. But Jackson getting great position, just couldn't get a handle on it once again. Eight turnovers for the Lady Blazers. Now Mississippi State will run the offense. See if they get it into Perry. String fellow. And inside, LaToya Thomas. That's exactly what State needs to continue to do until UAB shows that they can stop Thomas with the double team. Continue to feed your post, just set her up on the low blocks and let her go to town. Lead has been cut once again to nine. Stringfellow pushing inside with Rose. Interesting matchup, Holland and Thomas. 
Six on the clock. Lisa Jackson come underneath, lay it up and in. The Jackson two doing it. And she is hurt. A lot of contact on that play. No foul call. Well, don't forget, Jackson playing with both a fractured thumb and a very sore knee throughout the tournament. All right, we'll attend to the injured here in Eugene, Oregon. 14 and a half minutes to play. Second round of the NCAA West Regional. 45-34, Lady Blazers. They continue to work on star guard Lisa Jackson. It's 45-34 just moments ago. Injured her knee, we think, on this play. Number five, Green, comes down hard on her right leg. I don't know if it was created from contact or actually the way that she landed with all her weight on one leg. Regardless, a huge blow, 11 points for Jackson. And don't forget, Jackson was filling in at the point guard. She's a natural, too, but Sally Jeter, who's missed nine ga 19 games, was the starting point out all season with Mono. Thomas up and in. And if there was ever a time to make a run on the lazy Lady Blazers, it's now. Brandy Stallings will be asked to handle the point, and what a pressure situation to come into. Stallings handled the point for about five minutes on Friday against Oregon. Smith. A nice entry pass. Jackson missed a few minutes, went out with cramps, came back in, but Stallings did a very admirable job running the point. So Michelle Smith, who is hit in the face, we think, has a bruised right cheekbone. She has come back in. Looks like the ball girl is up and okay. She's sitting back on her and little table. Yeah, she's got a nice pack on her head. And we've got a game on our hands. Chris Marlowe, Heather Cox, second round of the West Regional. The lead is 11. Mississippi State, the favorite team. And they're getting shellacked here. And the one thing Jackson. I was just going to say is watch Jackson. See how she can focus. She's a young player as a sophomore to watch her senior sister go out with a knee injury. But she has remained focused and instantly gets two more. Deanna Jackson has 12. Holland has 12. Michelle Smith has 12. We're coming back in a minute. 49-36. Welcome back to the West Regional. UAB leads by 13 for the second time in this game just moments ago. Lisa Jackson being helped off into the locker room. We're not sure if she'll return or not, but she looks like that right leg or right knee, ankle, whatever it is, very, very gimpy. And that's a huge loss. UAB already without a lot of people. They have missed a total of 41 games due to injury or illness. There is no depth on the Blazer bench. Still low. The lead is 13. Stringfellow inside. Keisha Stringfellow, the freshman, comes in. She averages one point a game. She's getting some playing time. How many for Stringfellow? That's her first basket. Here's Deanna Jackson. Now being pressured by Nitra Perry. Stallings. Smith out to thrash. Open for a three. She travels. So the Lady Blazers turn it over. The ninth turnover. And a great defensive stand that time by State. Good, quick footwork. Their man-to-man -man defense has held opponents to just 39% shooting from the field. But right now, UAB shooting a blistering 60%. Mississippi State. Many people, many experts figuring them for a deep run in the NCAA tournament. And finally, a three-pointer from Angela Harris. Harris has seven. And State needs that balance. They've got great veteran leadership on the outside. They just haven't had the production point-wise so far. The lead is eight, and that's a basket. Let's see. Oh, that's a charge. Wow. Offensive foul. Crowd doesn't like it. Coach doesn't like it. Watch where the contact occurs. If it's on the torso, it's a charge. If it's on the extremities, it's a block. I'm, I'm sorry. That is a defensive foul. She jumps right into yeah, Jackson. Yeah, she was in that the air. If her feet are planted, that's a charge. But I agree with you. That's a block. And that's a serious foul because Deanna Jackson now has three. So Mississippi State. Let's see if the Lady Bulldogs can take advantage. Stringfellow missed it. Jackson rebound. A little bumping and grinding going on in there now. 49-41 as Mississippi State tries to catch up. Stallings, a very heady player. Wants to be a coach one day. Plays like Larry Bird. Has the smarts. Can she run the team well enough? Jackson fumbled it. 
Shot blocked. Smith. Oh, and the freshman comes up big again. So what could have been a turnover for Jackson turns into an assist, and Smith, huge 14 points, leads all Blazers at this point. 51-41, just when Mississippi State gets in striking distance. The Lady Blazers answer back. Still plenty of time left for a comeback. 11 and a half minutes. Jumper no. And Thomas, Ooh. whoa, Thomas was very close to going over the back. Ball whacked out of bounds by the Blazers. Quick timeout coming. The lead is 10 for UAB. How did Cinderella get to the second round of the ball? Well, the first night of the ball with three seconds to go, Shaquette, Shaquetta Rhodes put it in. Oregon had one chance to tie. Shaquela Williams from 30. And UAB had upset Oregon at the Mac court. Advancing on. And... Uh, Head coach Jody Rungi, the Oregon head coach, what a terrific season and what a heartbreaking loss oh, for her. I know exactly what it feels like to be at home hosting and losing in the first night. I did the exact same thing at University of the Pacific and it was a horrible, horrible feeling. But congratulations to Oregon, back-to-back -back Pac-10 champions. We have a report that Lisa Jackson sprained her right knee, doubtful if she'll be back. So the Lady Blazers with a 10-point lead with 10 and a half minutes to go. Working the paint and working it well. Deanna Jackson has 14. The lead is back up to 12. And UAB's offense is just such good ball movement, good rhythm. They're taking such smart, high-percentage shots. What's happened to the Mississippi State defense? It's not existent. I think they're so afraid of the penetration that they're a step behind. Going to be a blocking foul on Brandy Stallings. For a second. All day in practice today and yesterday. Worked on read and react in that man defense. They wanted to turn UAB's post inside and not let them go baseline, and they haven't been able to do either. They also talked about double teaming the post, and I haven't seen much of that. 16 foul, so ball out of bounds. Mississippi State having trouble getting the ball to their star, LaToya Thomas. They did it so well early on. Stringfellow in and out, and the rebound to Stallings. Stallings ahead to Holland. Holland's been kind of quiet here in the second half after a big first half. 12 first half points. Smith going to the rack. Missed it. And the rebound to Stringfellow, and that's a foul on Smith. NIT second round is coming at you tomorrow on ESPN. We start at 7 p.m. Xavier at Notre Dame. Xavier, one of the three teams to beat Cincinnati this season. Notre Dame mad that they didn't get in the tournament. They swept Connecticut this year. That's going to be a good game. Xavier and Notre Dame, ESPN.com, part of the Go Network, Go.com. Chris Marlowe, Heather Cox at Mac Court in Eugene, Oregon. Free throw by Stringfellow is missed, front end, rebound no by Thomas. And Deanna Jackson starting to take control of this game. Well, she's doing everything she can. I like the board. She's increased her presence on the glass in the second half. UAB shooting. Over 60% here in the second half. Holland, Stallings gets it! Well, about the ball movement, every possession that UAB takes, you're seeing lightning quick ball movement, finding the open player, drawing the double team, and pitching off. Stallings' first basket. Remember, she's replacing starting point guard Lisa Jackson, who's out with a knee injury. The biggest lead of the game is 14. Nitra Perry in and out. Mississippi State having all kinds of trouble with their perimeter shooting. And Jackson looked like she took an elbow to the eye on that rebound. Getting a nice job boxing out, and Mississippi State, no second chance opportunities. Their offensive boards have been non-existent. Mississippi State, just three of 18 from beyond the arc. That's is, killing them. Yeah, this is a team that usually makes seven threes in a game. Stallings dishes it off. Here comes Jackson, lay it up and in. Deanna Jackson with 16. 8.40 to go. And can you believe it? UAB leading by 16. Dumping it low and a steal. Deanna Jackson again. Those black headbands are becoming popular in college basketball. Everywhere you see all kinds of teams wearing them. You don't have yours on tonight. I do right? not. <laughs> Holland, Holly Holland for three, 16.
50-41 timeout, Mississippi State. 15 for Holland. We're coming back. The lead is 19. Either the UAB offense is superior or the Mississippi defense, the Mississippi State defense is lacking. Once again, it's ball movement for UAB. Holly Holland wide open. Three of